artists who are not successful when i say not successful they may be very successful but they're in a pigeonholed little box now they like keep doing the same thing their careers haven't progressed whatever they focus on themselves mm -hmm. and and you know listen you're familiar with the man of a thousand faces or the hero's journey this idea that oh. you know all these great hollywood stories fit this pattern Paul miller uh story brand is a good example. story brand exactly so i spent a bunch of time reading all those books and studying all that shit, which i of course strongly recommend i actually put together a whole presentation for people at my company which i've been meaning to do and i haven't gotten around to it yet but i did a whole presentation on all of these things combined the number one rule of the hero's journey is that you are not the fucking hero that's right so shut the fuck up and so many times i've gone into a screening room and i've been like all right you know let's bring forward the artist who's working on this thing and they're like well i felt it should be like this and so i did that and i did this and they use the word i like 27 times and i'm mm -hmm. just like who the fuck are you is this your movie like why don't you go direct your own short film you're the guy because what because what i wanted to hear was you're the guide the director who's sitting right here has got a vision and it's not even his goddamn vision it's his interpretation of what the audience needs in the context of this story that's his job or her job is to interpret the audience's needs in the movie and you keep talking about yourself and not the director and so you know in in the in the influence book or persuasion yeah influence mm -hmm. chapter 10 or 9 or whatever is the power of we Mm -hmm. And so I always pull artists aside and I'm just like, hey, don't ever say I again. You say we. And as soon as you say we, then the person you're trying to sell bullshit to feels at least like they own some of the bullshit that you're trying to sell. You say I and you better be a fucking genius because you are <laughs> trying to sell some shit that inherently conflicts with what the director wants. So stop saying I and stop thinking about I. You know, like we, there is only we, we are all here working together on this movie. So what I want to hear is I, what we want to hear is, is, well, I thought we needed this. So I took a, a stab at that, you know, and, and when you use I in the context of your interpretation of what we want, okay, now we're on the same page and we're, we're sitting next to each other facing a common problem as opposed to sitting opposite each other becoming enemies in the hero's journey nobody you're not the hero the hero is the person you're talking to you're the guide mm -hmm. who is going to present the plan that is going to achieve success or avoid failure and sometimes you can only avoid failure but ideally you want to be achieving success and the faster people can figure that out then they can become the heroes of their own journey later but when you're working for somebody else you're not the hero man you're the guide uh at That's best right. You and want to be Yoda um, in a lot of cases. You don't want to be Luke Skywalker. No movie I've ever worked at. People be like, oh man, Ben, you did such a great job on this, that, or whatever. That wasn't my vision. Uh, that was just me taking everybody else's vision, gluing them all into one coherent picture, and then sending it out into, into the world. It, it, it was the ingredients that were being cooked with. All I did was bring them together. It was not like, you know, I, to be honest with you, left with a blank canvas. I don't know if I could create anything of interest. All I can do is unify a bunch of disparate opinions into something coherent that fits within a time and a budget and, and, an, and an amount of resources that are available.